What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Bastion Nemic, which is the new type of world event in the Necrom chapter. This is going to be a world event for groups of up to four players. Now this is going to be a little bit of a different spin on what we have seen, you know, in previous chapters. I guess the most recent uh, thing that I can think of is like when we were in the Deadlands, you got to travel to, you know, kind of a different realm for that world event. And that's kind of what this is like. And I'm glad they have changed that original idea of the dolmens because several years there we were getting things that were just like dolmens in somerset you know it was pretty much the same concept as dolmens uh some of the other uh, other um, world events we've had over the years have been kind of that same idea where you're going to a certain area kind of defending that area and that's the end of it now you're going to get, actually get to travel in with a group of up to four other people and actually do some different things where it comes to puzzles uh, adventuring in a, a larger scale space and also having to deal with a little bit of boss mechanics. The lead designer or the senior encounter designer who made this or kind of designed this talked about uh, exactly how it's going to work. He says, once a player has enough Daedric Icker, which you get from special monsters kind of in the zone, you'll be able to gain entrance into the Bastion. So you're gonna go find the portal. You're actually gonna to go to the Bastion itself. And it says, uh, it may require you to team up with other adventurers to take them down, similar to world bosses and difficulty. These are going to be moderately challenging experiences for a group of four players. In the final confrontation, players should expect to contend with a few unique boss mechanics. This is, of course, like ESO's previous world events. You're not uh, intended to complete this activity just once, and you're intended kind of to repeat this assault on the fortress and it will result in additional rewards and challenges. The Bastion Nemic is a very large space and we want players to experience everything it has to offer. Since the quest uh, associated with this, with it requires players to complete only one of the districts plus the start location and the end boss are random, this gives them a potentially new experience each time they enter the instance. In addition, the boss's battles, uh, there are no shortage of secret side puzzles for you to discover in each of the fortress's three quarters so you're going to see bosses you're going to see uh, some puzzles you're going to see maybe some different things each time you go into this instance i would assume up to a point eventually you're going to start seeing the same thing but it's not going to be exactly the same every time you enter it because of it being a larger space and having some different areas or some different like he said three different quarters i think this is going to be a a good thing for the game. I think a lot of people like these world kind of events. People like, you know, doing world bosses. People like doing, you know, the events in game. But like I said, over the years, they were very similar to what we saw, you know, when the game first came out with the Dolmans. And these have progressed over the years. And I think this is kind of the point where we're getting to now in ESO, where they're trying to figure out a way to implement not just a, you know, a normal world event that we come to expect but also add some things from other parts of the game whether it be trials dungeons whatever the case you know could be maybe even things like in the story where you're you know solving puzzles and things like that they're trying to combine a lot of stuff we've seen in the game overall into some world events to make them more challenging to make them more interesting to make them not the same thing over and over to make you want to go back and complete them multiple times so I'm kind of curious if you guys are excited about the new Bastion Nimic, which I think is going to be a very unique world event compared to what we've had recently. And I think a lot of players will really enjoy this, like I said, especially with those, you know, boss mechanics, side puzzles, all kind of interesting stuff to discover. Uh, I think a lot of people will spend time, you know, in this fortress trying to discover all its secrets. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.